What's going on for you? How could I help? Okay, so first of all, I did, I was doing those logic games that you made, and I had a really difficult time with the Greek deities one, deities one, and I just couldn't figure that out at all. Um, and then I'm also struggling with like being able to identify sufficient assumption, necessary assumption, and basically just holding on to what it is and what I need to do every single time I approach one of those problems. Sure. I can definitely address the question on the logical reasoning, necessary assumption versus sufficient assumption. That's a good topic for this conversation or something we can dive deep on. So first off, you got to tell the, be able to tell the difference between them and then know how to approach each one. And there are words or phrases in the question stem that are indicators. They tell you whether you're dealing with necessity or sufficiency. So necessary assumption questions will have a key word or phrase synonymous with necessity, like depends upon or requires or assumes. Those are all phrases that are synonymous with necessity. On the flip side, you have for sufficient assumption, words like allows, enables, follows logically if assumed, properly inferred if assumed. And those indicate sufficiency. Okay. Now they're asking for very different things, but the first step is knowing the difference. And you can, of course, do things like flashcards to memorize it. I don't think the LSAT really lends itself to memorization too much, but if that's what you need in order to have a firm grasp on distinguishing them, I would start there. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's like... I feel especially when I do the assumption questions and when I try to apply things like the contrapositive and et cetera, it's like I almost confuse myself. So I'm still working through that. Yeah, diagramming can get confusing, but it's not even, I wouldn't even get there yet. I would just start with what's the difference and then what does that mean for each question type? So necessary assumption questions, you can use what's called the negation test or the denial test. Mm -hmm. The correct choice when negated destroys the argument. So no, no formal logic involved, no diagramming involved there. I okay. treat these like a very specific kind of must be true question because a necessary assumption needs to be true in order for the argument to work. A person who believes in the stimulus is logically committed to believing all underlying necessary assumptions. Sufficient assumption, on the other hand, opens the door to new information. The correct answer choice, if true, will guarantee the argument 100%, leaving no ambiguity at all. And in this question type, because you're dealing with a lot of formal logic, a lot of conditional statements, at least a, a chunk of the time, it does lend itself to diagramming in those circumstances. And that's where, of course, if diagramming is not your thing and you get tripped up with the contrapositive, then that could lead you into trouble. But it's not always applicable. So I wouldn't always feel like you have to diagram. And I find that students typically tend to over diagram. Mm -hmm. There are very few question types in logical reasoning where I would ever recommend diagramming. My second point we could kind of go to is I'm not testing in April um, and I'll probably end up testing in um, June or July. Do you have any advice for how I should use the next couple of months? Yeah, and that really relates to all my general advice on LSAT study plans and self-study, making a schedule for yourself and sticking to it. And so I, my general recommendations are in the day-by-day -day study plans where I lay out for you exactly what to do every single day over the course of your prep. And it invo involves building a strong foundation, then doing individual timed sections, and finally, pulling it all together with full length timed exams. But for you, given the areas you raised, I would start with the, in this logical reasoning area, focusing on necessary versus sufficient assumption questions, doing several of each type, and then mixing them up so you can better test yourself on the distinctions. Okay. And then um, another question would be, at what point, because I wanna work with tutors and I wanna do coaching, but I'm doing self-study, at what point do you recommend I start working with someone else? And at what point will I be able to recognize that I need to, or it's the right time, or it's the right reason? For working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, it's when you have a strong foundation. 
in the different sections and question types, and you've identified some weak areas. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I also have courses that include live online classes as well as group coaching. So you get a lot of the benefits of coaching and taking a course without paying for one-on-one. -on -one. So that could be an option to consider as well. And for the courses, you could join any time. I mean, if you have trouble with logical reasoning, like we've been talking about, I have full lessons in the courses covering just that. And then I have several examples and explanations for each type. So that's another option available to you where you would get on-demand videos as well as the live classes and the group coaching for a fraction of the price of the one-on-one. -on -one. That's really it. Cool. Well, I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Um, well, just th thinking about and talking about ways to process necessary and sufficient assumptions um, and also trying to understand who would be able to work with me even though I've been going through the Power Score books and I'm almost done with those series. Awesome. Well, please keep in touch, Kitty. Let me know if you have any questions as you move forward, and I'm happy to help. Thank you. Of course. Take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.